Thank you. Good morning, everyone. So um, can you hear me properly? Is it okay? Okay. Yes. So um, I will present uh, the women in the railway workforce according to UIC statistics uh, with the uh, first the data that we collect from the railway companies. And in particular, the data on the breakdown by gender of the railway workforce, all types of uh, positions combined. Uh, whether in the uh, field of infrastructure management or passenger or freight operations. At the same time, we have recently uh, been collecting data on the proportion of women in position. So previous slide, please. <laughs> um, at the same time, this is the second point of my presentation. So we have recently been collecting data on the proportion of women uh, in positions of responsibility, as well as their representation uh, on management committees as part of the activities of the RSI, uh, Rate Sustainability Index. And finally, I will present uh, our data dissemination tool for people who could conduct analysis and the gaps uh, in our database. So next slide, please. Um, so the breakdown by gender of the railway workforce, um, as part of the statistics platform, we collect data from railway companies. And I would like to point out that UIC data only covers heavy rail, so not uh, light rail such as uh, tram or metro. So we have a series of uh, questionnaires on the workforce by gender and uh, age group and by seniority in the company, as well as the arrivals and departures of employees. And this data available since 2005 and 2007 for certain companies. Next slide, please. Um, so with this uh, data per company, we can get a fairly good idea of the proportion of women in the workforce by country and for uh, major regions of the world working in the railway transport industry. Even if we do not fully cover the global market, uh, this sample of companies uh, shown in the graph represent ju just over 80% of the global market with uh, 110 companies and a total of uh, 4,600,000 of uh, employees approximately. And among these employees, we estimate that around 15% of, uh, 15 of those employees are women, uh, so working in rail transport. And uh, this share, as you can see, this share varies uh, significantly from uh, one region to another, with uh, less than 15% in America, Asia, and Oceania, and more than 20% in Europe. And if we compare uh, the women in the workforce at the country scale, according to the data published by the World Bank, so all economic uh, sectors combined, uh, women are largely underrepresented in railways, even if uh, we note a weak uh, increase in the share of women uh, since 2005 for some companies. Nevertheless, uh, we note that companies in charge of passenger operations have a higher proportion of female employees than for cargo operations or infrastructure management. Indeed, um, on the chart, you can see uh, the top ranked companies by region are uh, primarily uh, passenger operators, uh, which are marked uh, on the graphs by a blue circle. And uh, this is perhaps due to the fact that uh, for uh, the transport of freight and the management of the infrastructure, uh, the tools and the working conditions are not adapted to women. So uh, these professional activities may seem uh, unattractive for women, but it's just a hypothesis. I don't have uh, information on that. So please, next slide, please. So otherwise, uh, within the RSI activities, uh, which aim to monitor the improvements in the field of sustainability achieved by our members, according to the UN SDGs, so data are collected 
on women level of responsibility and uh, representativeness in governance bodies with the number of women managers and the number of women on boards of directors. And it is uh, also asked if a non-discrimination uh, framework or code is available in the company. So the questionnaire covers the years 2019 to 2021 and the 2022 data collection will be launched uh, soon. So for the moment, the data has been provided by uh, about uh, 30 companies, mainly European ones, and we are waiting for more uh, data to undertake uh, analysis. So please, next slide. So um, annual data on staff and other data can be found uh, in Rayliza or web application to uh, disseminate uh, UIC data. So we can mention few gaps in our database and in uh, our analysis, uh, analysis as well. So we have missing data on gender for past decades for many companies in Africa and America. So we are limited uh, for trend uh, analysis uh, for these regions. Uh, we have not yet undertaken analysis of the data concerning the age and seniority of women in the railway workforce. And same for our review and uh, departure movement uh, of women. So uh, we have to, uh, to analyze uh, those uh, data more specifically. Um, another point, uh, we need data from more companies to evaluate the proportion of women in manager positions and governance bodies. And it would be good to follow uh, the trends, the temporal trends, uh, to evaluate the effect of uh, glass selling, for example. And finally, uh, some uh, data is confidential for some companies, especially uh, for the ASI activities. So this, this choice uh, limits the studies. Uh, uh, so it uh, seems necessary to discuss the possibility of making uh, this data uh, public and uh, promote uh, transparency uh, on this subject. This is all for me. I was short, I hope.